I see Arlanza as the new Rivera del Duero due to the climate change. What is happening with the weather, Sonia? Well, it's changing a lot. So, in the end, it is better as it does not freeze as much as in previous years. And with the temperature raise, the climate that Rivera del Duero had before it is now becoming yours, as you are at the higher altitude and to the north. We get more maturation, with riper and better quality grapes. This year has been particularly noticeable. Yes, note that this year we have started harvesting on the 19th of September. Last year was on the 29th. Five years ago, we harvested around the 10th of October, more or less. The harvest is getting earlier and earlier. It's clear and evident. We are experiencing a climate change. But we also have our identify mark here. Ribera del Duero has its own identity. And now, thanks to climate change, we are also getting our own identity. Because we are at a higher altitude, which is going to moderate the maturation of grapes below what they have in Ribera del Duero. I think that we have to showcase the qualities that we uniquely have, height and diversity. Our wines are fresher, more Atlantic wines, easy to drink. And also here we play with a particularity that we have multiple varieties. We have Tempranillo, Garnacha, Mencia. They are all mixed. We don't have mono-variety plots. You have Tempranillo above all. Tempranillo, Viura. We have Garnacha, Mencia, Tinto Aragonés. And Doja de Higuera, a very fine grape. Are there many viticulturists? There are many viticulturalists. However, many work very small plots for self consumption. Your vineyards are all centenary old likely coming to you from your grandparents. I was 20 years old and they were already old vineyards and I have some years on me. There is also the fact that many vineyards were pulled off around 20 years ago. Grapes were not paid well at that time. And then the problem... of the exodus of the population to the cities. It started then and it is now difficult to recover. I understand, but a denomination of origin can only survive on centenary vineyards. They will not be here in 30 more years. Sure, there are new plantings happening now. Vines are planted with care and we are getting very fine wines, as long as the vineyard is treated with a lot of love, which is what you have to do. We're talking about Arlanza. Arlanza has historically produced 2 million kilos of grapes per year. I'm talking about 100 years ago. That grape was later sold surely to Rioja. Yes, many trucks with grapes have gone to Rioja. Out of all those vineyards, the extension of vineyards necessary for 2 million kilos, which is a lot, no much remains. Those remaining are your centenary old vineyards. But this tells me that the ground is prepared for it. In fact, the extension of Arlanza is similar to that of Rivera del Duero. Here you have 15 wineries, in Rivera they have 300. This is the main difference. In other words, the potential of Arlanza is not only the climate, but its extension. Do you also believe in Arlanza? Of course. We would not be doing this otherwise. I wouldn't be doing this project with so much economic investment and time dedication and excitement. Do you see yourselves leaving your day job to dedicate your time fully to the vineyard? I would really like that. I'd love to. I would love to. I would really like that. I'd love to. I'm old already, and I'm not going to leave it now. <laughs>